it's Topher and today I wanted to share with you my unboxing of my June Art Snacks box. I just got it in the mail and I can't wait to open it and show you what's what's inside. Of course, let me cut. There we go. And let's see. So first we have the menu. Then we have everything that's wrapped up. And Candy is a Sour Patch Kid. Ooh. Sour Patch. And the sticker is, oh, that's nice and colorful. That actually looks like there's like planets and swirls and, oh, that's cool. Okay. So let's open up this and see what's going on. I love the green patch that they always have with this, the green paper. Ooh. We've got different pens. This looks interesting. Okay. So, let's see. So, this one here is the Marabou Graphics Aqua Pens. And, so what does it say here on these? These wet your palette this month with two Marabou Graphics Aqua Pens. These felt tip watercolor pens are double ended, featuring a fine color tip and a larger brush tip. The water based pigment delivers brilliant color and can be fanned out with a wet brush. Warning be sure never to dip your pens directly into water. Okay, so, and it looks like I have a nice red and a nice black, and they both have. The, this one is fine. It says here, fine on this side. So, there's my fine point. Well, that's not a bad point. Ooh, nice brush tip. So, got that in red. Also got that one in black. Uh, so, this next one is a Pentel. Arts Micro Brush Sign Pen. Ooh, that is very, very thin. Depending on how you hold it, the Pentel Arts Micro Brush Sign Pen can give you the most delicate and fine lines. Or it can lay down a bold line. The mark's thickness depends on the angle quickness and stroke and the paper texture. You will also be impressed by its bright and intense water-based ink. So again, another water-based ink. Next one here. Oh, it's another one of my favorites. It is, and it's nicely wrapped, it is the Plum Chester 0.5 Mechanical Pencil. Wow, this thing, according to this, it's kind of, that's a pricey pencil. Or you're not going to be able to get it, but this, a sturdy, reliable pencil made by Plum Chester, 0.5 mechanical. It's not stylish, it says here, but also delivers comfort and control. Let's see, built-in eraser in the cap, ultimate drawing tool, and and it's stocked with 2B lead. Okay. So the last one is this one right here. It's the Pentel Art Hybrid Techna Gen Gel Pen. So Oh, I've actually, I've used these before, but not to draw with, just to, to write with. And these are pretty nice. Okay, so get down to the details with 
the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technical Gel Pen. This pen is pretty special. It features unique a tungsten carbide roller ball tip that ensures consistent line from the first to the last mark. The pigment ink is achieved and or arch archival is archival water resistant. It won't dry out when left on cap during use. Oh, okay, so that's nice. The cap also fits on the top, which I know some people really, really like. I do too, so I don't lose them. Okay. So, with this, let's do a little test and take a look and see how the, see what they look like. So, I just got some standard paper. So I can take a look at this, see how these all turn out. It's a pretty, pretty sticker that they have this time. Okay, so let's start with the gel pen. This is the Pentel Arts Hybrid. And that, that's a nice line. And I can see where you can definitely get nice lining in that. Very good for cross hatching. It, cons it has a consistent line all the way through. So, that looks pretty nice. And of course, they did say that it was water resistant. So, let's take a little bit of water and test that out. Not 100%. Nope. See, it does bleed. Well, maybe it just bleeds on this paper, or I didn't allow it enough time in order to really kind of dry. So maybe just this paper, or I just didn't allow it to dry. So I'm going to test that other spot in just a minute or two. So let's go now with the Marabou Graphics. And these are the two watercolor pens. So there's the black. Oh, that's vibrant red. It blends out pretty good. Oh, you can see that it, with the this this is not the best paper. So you're seeing the bleeding through. That's because it is not the best paper, but it is pull it is pulling the the watercolor out. Okay. okay. Pentel micro brush. And of course there's the pe there's the pencil which I just snapped it. Okay, so let's see. Oh yes, you can get very thin line. Oh, it's purple, too. Okay. 
I didn't write my name very well with it, but... It's cross-hatching with that. Let's see, because it's also water-based. Well, that's nice. That's a nice color. I like that. I like that color. And you can get some really thin lines with that, it looks like. Okay, and since I think I've allowed this other one to dry long enough, let's try the... Okay, yeah, I just didn't let it... This one I didn't let dry long enough, and this is bad paper, but it's not bleeding at all. So, when you're using the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technical Pen, Please give it a little bit of time to dry before painting over it. Wow, so this is going to be a nice art, an art snacks box, which I really am going to enjoy. So I wanted to open the box, show you what everything looks like, show you what we've got, and how it, you know, looks on the paper, and then we're going to, I'm going to actually split this into two separate videos and I'm going to use this art snack supplies in order to create an art piece in another video but I am going to do this here because art snacks always has one thing that's really cute and that is the uh, joke okay so here's the menu for June here's the joke why was the pencil's joke so bad? Well, why was the pencil's joke so bad? It was pointless. <laughs> I like those bad jokes. You can share them with kids and that you don't have to worry about it being a little bit off key. All right. So I hope you enjoyed watching me open up my art snacks box and Click on watch the next video where I will be using these in order to create something. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.